Hi everyone, I'm Jane and um, I just wanted to uh, share with you um, a moment that I had um, the other day online which was actually really quite special and um, for those people that regularly say to me um, what works for you, um, how, how's your business going, how long have you been doing it, I've not been making any money online, I've been doing this for 12 months um, you know, and I hear it so many times and the same questions being asked so many times. And I posted out yesterday onto Facebook um, an email that I got um, which confirmed um, a couple of sales, um, which was quite a nice little snapshot. It was a very nice email to uh, to receive when I just got back from going swimming. So, um, and basically it was, it was to celebrate um, my first $125 days. And... Um, you know, I've had various different uh, days where I've got snippets and snippets coming into the inbox, um, but there's real momentum now um, coming in, and I just wanted to talk about um, the the online business world just for a few moments. Now, I started um, inquiring um, with the online world. Um, it will be a couple of years ago now, in April, and I originally inquired because I had an offline business at the time that I wanted to market online and I basically wanted to find out how to market online without having to pay somebody else thousands upon thousands um, to do it for me. Um, so I registered with a company who have an absolutely phenomenal training um, um, set of modules available um, and they took my my offline business to a new dimension online um, and I got lots and lots of extra business in through marketing that business online um, so as far as my goal was concerned with that um, I, I, I achieved that um, whilst I was doing that though it opened up a whole new world of opportunity to me because it made me question what I was doing what what I was doing offline was it something that I really wanted to carry on with was it really me and the more I looked online the more I recognized that actually my offline business didn't interest me in any shape or form and so I started to look at the affiliate program that was available um, with the education package that I had and I thought well if this has benefited me and helped me to take my business to new levels I can help other people do the same. So I set about looking at it from a whole new dimension. Um, the problem was I'd got lots of distractions which I allowed to keep entering my life. So I'd got my offline business that was still going, I've got my um, little boy um, who, you know, as children do, eight year olds do, six he was at the time, you know, need running around here, there and everywhere. Um, as soon as you go online you've got the distraction of Facebook and Twitter and emails pouring in. So I never allowed myself the time to be able to progress with it. And it's like anything that you do in life, whether it be an online business or whether it be training for a marathon. And that's what I'm going to liken it to here. Um, a training for a marathon, you wake up one day and you decide that you're going to run a marathon, um, whether it be for your own self-satisfaction or whether it be to help others through a charity. And you decide you're going to run 26.2 miles. You don't just step out of the front door and attempt to run the full distance, do you? You, you embark on some form of training program that's going to get you from zero to 26.2 miles. So it's the same with an online business. You don't decide you're going to do it and then suddenly the next day expect thousands upon thousands to drop into your account. But we all do that. We all think that we're going to start off with the online business and within a few days when we're not seeing the leads and we're not seeing the money dropping in, we all think it's not working. So what do we do? We quit and we move on to something else and we try that for a few more days and a few more weeks and we quit and we move on to something else and we never actually give ourselves time to build up the momentum for the results to start pouring in. So this was me so what I'm talking about is me here so I'm talking from my own experiences so those people out there that are thinking I've not got the right mentor I've not got the right product I've not got the right compensation plan stop stop blaming everybody else and everything else and take responsibility for your life okay your life is not the responsibility of your mentor or the products or the compensation plan or the company it's your responsibility so if you decide you're going to join a company and you're going to promote the products, then you need to be giving it at least six months of consistent daily action. 
if you're not consistently giving it daily action, your business won't work. That's an absolute fact. It's the same as if you're running a marathon. If you're going to run the marathon in June, but you decide that you're only going to go out training twice during that time, the fact is you probably won't be able to run the 26.2 miles. You probably won't even be able to run five. It's the same with the online business. Um, so getting back to it, so I am a, a stay-at-home, work-from-home mummy. And that that's a decision that I've now made, okay? So I have a, a huge, huge goal. And um, at the moment, he's, he's away at school. But nothing gave me greater satisfaction than last week when it was half-term. I spent every single day with him. And we went out and about and we went and in, enjoyed lots of the... Um, the beautiful British countryside here. Thank goodness it wasn't raining, which is a, is a rarity I know here in the UK. Um, but we enjoyed the quality time together. You know, I wasn't having to pay childminders or send him to holiday clubs um, whilst I was away working in some PLC company in the UK. Not anymore. Um, so the message is, you find something that you're interested in. Now, the uh, just getting back to where, where I'm at now, so bringing it from two years ago into the real world now, so um, after much messing around and not, um, if you like, doing my business on a daily basis, treating it like a complete hobby, and it did reward me as a, as a hobby, um, I'm now in a business where I treat as a business. Okay, so when my little boy has gone to school at half past nine in the morning, that's when I start work, and I finish at three every single day apart from at the weekends where I do work uh, down on, on, on limited hours, perhaps one or two hours a day. But I work and touch my business every single day. And am I getting results? Of course I'm getting results because I'm working my business. I'm going to work and I'm making my time here very, very worthwhile. Now I have somebody very special that I'd really like to thank um, for where I am now and that is my um, very good friend, um, my hunter boot loving friend. Can you believe it? Um, when you resonate with people and you have common ground with people, the reason why I work with this guy is because he has a love for hunter wellington boots and Paul you know who you are and um, Paul Ingram I've known now for some time and he's been um, a great mentor to me and um, I'm in a, an extremely successful team of people um, who are absolutely fantastic. Um, it's worth its weight in gold actually working with um, Paul and the, and the team of people that I'm in. Um, which I can't disclose because that, 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 that's a bit of a secret really. And, um, and I think you can see really from the twinkle in my eye that, you know, I've, I've arrived now at, at my, if you like, place of work, although I hate to call it that. I've arrived here now and um, I'm excited every day when I wake up um, knowing what I'm going to be doing and knowing what I'm going to be doing shortly after I've done this video, which is why I might, might be speaking too quickly. But it's had a major effect in my life um, and I'll give you just a few crazy examples. You know, I normally, although I don't break the speed limits, I normally do speed around and my objective is to get from A to B within a relative short space of time not anymore I drive over here like a Sunday driver okay I don't have the blanket on the parcel shelf behind me but I drive slowly why so that I can listen to the audio that I have which inspires me to be able to go out and help lots of people I spend less time in the shower that has a negative effect um, because um, I spend less time with the hairdryer which means I have big fluffy crazy hair until I get the hair straighteners onto it. And the reason for that is I can't hear the audio when I've got the hairdryer on. I can't listen to my audio when I'm in the shower. So I've yet to invest in a waterproof um, iPod, iPod cover, whatever you can get, I don't know. Um, I go to Sainsbury's. I don't spend a fortune um, in Sainsbury's supermarket anymore because I don't want to spend the time in the supermarket. I want to be back out in the car listening to the audio. Um, and so you get the gist, basically. I am very excited about um, this business. I am seeing the results. Um, it thrills me no end speaking to people on a daily basis and passing on the benefits of, of what this company can actually do um, 
for people. So um, not only do I want to say a big thank you to um, to Paul, but I also want to say um, a big thank you to uh, Mr. David Wood. You are saving me an absolute fortune on my Sainsbury shopping bill. <laughs> um, actually, the most the most um, if there is anything annoying out of this, it was I went to do my shopping on on Sunday, having just had a conversation with Paul. Did a huge supermarket sweep around Sainsbury's, walked out, and I forgot my wine. So I got my audio at the end of the supermarket sweep, but I hadn't got my glass of wine for Sunday evening. Okay, so, um, but apart from that, no, this is a great opportunity and I just wanted to share this with you. So anybody that's out there sitting on the fence, not knowing which way to go, jumping from one opportunity to the next, never giving anything, any staying power, you need to take a look at this. Okay.